everyone, my name is Lily and I'm an artist currently living and working in St. John's, Newfoundland. I've been working with paper mache for the last couple years. So today I'm going to show you how you can turn a 2D sketch into a 3D ornament to decorate your table with, maybe at work or at home. For this project you will need newspapers, cardboard, hot glue, water, scissors, exacto knife, paint, paint brushes, mod podge or sealer, tape, pencils and paper. So the first thing that we're going to do is sketch out our character that we want to make. And we're really trying to think about the shapes that will be easiest to make with cardboard or rolled up newspaper, however you decide to make them. This is a character that I created last year, and I thought it would be a perfect example of a character that you can bring into reality. So here I'm just mapping out how each of the shapes are going to look. I'm making them into simpler shapes, which will be helpful in the building process. This way I can also decide if I want to make them out of cardboard or if I want to make them during soft building with newspaper and tape. For this character, I've decided I'm going to use the soft build technique with the eyes and also the teeth. Now using cardboard, newspaper, and tape, we're going to start building our character. Here I'll be demonstrating how to soft build. It's very simple. You just use tape and newspaper to build the form that you want for your character. Soft building is really handy if you want to make something appear soft or maybe bendy and fluid. But using tape, I'm going to be wrapping around the newspaper so I can have an exact shape. And as you can see, it still maintains its flexibility. Now I'm going to be cutting out some of the basic shapes that make up my character out of cardboard with an X-Acto knife. Now that all our shapes are cut out, we can start putting our character together. Using a glue gun, I'm going to put the pieces together that form the base of my character. Using a soft build technique, I'm making the eyeballs and the teeth out of newspaper and tape to be put on the character. I'm going to attach all my soft form pieces to my base with hot glue. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Next, we'll prepare the paper mache mix. There are two different ways to do this. The first is to mix equal parts warm water with white glue until it forms a runny paste. The second part, if you don't have white glue, you can also use flour and you can mix a one part flour to two and a half parts boiling water with a pinch of salt. This measurement varies depending on the heat of the water and the flour type, but you basically want a thick runny paste as you would with the glue. Cut strips of newspaper to comfortably wrap around your subject. You can either dunk newspaper strips in the bowl with the paste or place strips on the character and use a paintbrush to evenly coat them. Once your paper mache is dry, you can paint over it with a base coat of white paint, or as I'm using here, gesso. This will make sure that the colors from the newspaper don't bleed through when we do our final paint. With our base paint now dry, I'm using acrylic paint to start blocking in some colors for our character. Depending on what kind of paint you use, you can do two or more coats to make sure that the color is full. After the final painting is done, we're going to seal our work with Mod Podge or a spray sealer. And there you have it, turning a 2D sketch into a 3D model. Thanks for joining me in this video. And if you do decide to make this at home, please share on social media and tag myself and CBC Arts. We'll see you next time. Bye.